Hi Fox, this is Anup and we are watching Learn for Tarakki. So, what is the agenda for today? So today we are going to study how we can unstage files that we have staged using the git add command. So, let us start with this video tutorial. So, here we have opened the project on the right hand side in the NetBeans and on the left hand side git bash command prompt. So, to do things side by side. So, in the NetBeans, I have opened one simple calculator project. So, this is the directory structure of the simple calculator app. So, .git folder is already added and it is done by using the git init command that we have already learned how to add things in the git repository. So, what we, we are going to do today is we, we are going to add or do some modification in the file and add the files to the staging area and uh, after adding the file to the staging area we thought that it should not be the part of the staging area so we will try to get it back to the working directory so in the last tutorial i have told you what is working directory uh, remaining the files excluding dot git folder is actually a working directory currently in the system so in the netbeans let us modify one file whose name is simple calculator app so here i'm going to add one call function to one of these adds sub mul or div function and then we will add this to the st staging area So as you see, I have called add function and use the show output class that we have created in this project to print the result. So since the since we think that our work is over or it is ready for commit to the local repository, so we need to add it to the staging area. So what we do usually in the command line, we check the status for the current branch. So here it shows nothing no the working tree is clean so okay so i am actually in the wrong project directory so let me move in the project directory of this simple calculator app right. so let me clear the command line so here if we check the git status so we will see that it is showing one file in the red color which says that it is modified. Now we need to add it to the staging area. So how we can do it? For that we simply issue git add either we, we add a specific file using the file name after the add parameter or we can simply click on dot. So it will what it will do? it will go recursively and add all the files in the git staging area all files in the git staging area so uh, except the ignored files so here after issuing this command the file simple calculator app.java become the part of the staging area so let me issue the git status command again so here you see that the file is in the staging area which shows in green color so now after moving it to the staging area I thought that it should not be the part of the staging area means there is some more modifications you have to do in this file so what you have to do you have to unstage this file means you have to move back to the working directory so what is staging is all about whenever you modify one file in the working directory and you want to commit to that to the local repository you first add it to the staging area so in the git what it what it does internally it puts the file content to the dot kit folder and in this way the staging is done so we are going to move the file back to the working directory so let me clear the window first so to move back the file 
in the working directory you simply have to use the following command git reset dash dash space dot so this command is actually a reverse of git add dot command so what it does it recursively goes to the current directory into all the subdirectories and files within the current directory and unstays the files so this command is safe enough since it simply unstays the files it does not do any modification within the file it simply brings the file back from the staging area to the working directory so if we issue this command so it says that the files that get unstaged so it is showing that file in this line so let me again issue the git status command so here you will see that the file is back again in the working directory so as you see that the file after adding it to the staging area and then getting it back to the working directory there is no modification in the file so this command is safer in terms of modification so we just move the file to and fro from working directory to staging area using the git add command and from staging area to working directory using git reset command so i am going to tell you some few points also regarding the git reset command those who are familiar with it or those who are new to it so this is a simple syntax that i have written for all of you that if we issue git add dot command it got it puts all the file recursively to the staging area all the whether it is a new file modified file or deleted file all of them will become the part of the staging area so this is a syntax for git add command git add path git add file name you can add you can put the directory you can put particular file name so to unstage it we have to write git reset with the dash dash command dash dash parameter because we are use we are using this this git reset command to unstage since git reset command can do lot of other things we can also use git reset command to reset the entire to reset the entire commit back with the git reset commit id so you have to keep in mind that to unstage file or to do operation with the file or path with the git reset command you have to use the dash dash operator so it simply states that you are issuing the path afterwards not the branch name commit ids and all so that should be keep kept in mind so let me show you one more example where we reset or we unstage multiple files suppose we have already modified this file it is in the working directory and here we have one file it is again in the source folder so if i go directly to this in this project folder let me create one folder over here so what i have done over here let me show you in this i have updated show output file and show simple calculator is already updated and out of this source directory let me show you in the files structure i have added one folder check so all and all there is three files two files which are already in the repository part of the repository and one is new folder check folder so how the git unstaging can be done with multiple files and folders or specific files and folders so let me issue the git status command again let me just clear this
so i have issued the git status command you have seen that these two files are already part of the repository so that's why it is in upper portion so in the lower portion we have added one check folder which is untracked because it is not already in the repository it is part of untracked file so these three are the part which are not yet committed or which are not part of the staging area so if we add, issue the git add command with dot operator it will simply put all the files in the staging area now if you want to specifically unstage files you can do simply you can let me clear the okay let me clear and show you again if you issue git status command it will show three files which are in currently in the staging area now you want some specific file to unstage so what you will do you can mention the path after the git reset dash dash command git reset dash dash here you can mention the folder here i have mentioned src folder so what it does it will uh, it will unstage only all those files which are within the src folder gets unstage it will not unstage check slash simple dot txt i have issued the command so you will see that the check slash simple dot txt is still the part of staging area and all the files within src directory gets unstage so in this way we have unstage specific set of files within a particular directory so this can also be done so this can all this this thing is sim, is currently i thought is missing in the netbeans so so you have to do it through command line but apart from that other commands are simply possible with netbeans you can simply issue the git add and all commands so this might be with the part in the future versions so so that's all so that's all for today so we have learned how we have we can add files to the staging area using the git add command and issue git reset dash dash command to bring back files or file from staging area to the working directory so this command does not modify any file it simply put back the files from staging area to the working directory thank you fox so hope you like this video so keep watching this video series we will we will be adding few more videos regarding the git reset more command things and all because there are more more and more possibilities and there are a lot of things to undo so we have we can undo modifications we can undo commits and we can undo a lot of things so we'll see in the upcoming video series thank you for watching and Thank you for watching learn for the recipe and hope you like our video